Welcome to your new ShipDay account. We are happy to have you here. I know the dashboard can look confusing at first, but I promise it's easier to use than you think. In this video, I'll be giving you a demo of all of the important first steps to help you understand how to use ShipDay with your own business. If you only have a quick question regarding drivers, orders, or settings, check out the rest of our videos. We have a bunch of short how-to videos that might help you. Once you are logged into your account, you will be on the dispatch screen. This will be empty for you because you haven't added any drivers or orders yet. So first things first, let's add a new driver. If you navigate over to the driver tab, you will see this green new driver button. Once you click this, a box will pop up with a couple of things to fill out. You'll need a name, phone number, email, and temporary password. This temporary password will be sent to your new driver alongside a link to download our driver app. I will be showing you the driver app and how it works a little later in this video, but for now, let's stay on the dashboard. Congratulations, you've created your first driver. See how easy that was? You can do this for as many drivers as you have, and it's the same process every time. Now that we have a driver, it's time to create an order. If you go over to the orders tab, you'll see a new order button on the right side. It's very similar to how you just created a driver, but we're inputting other information. Once you click on this button, a box will pop up and you'll be able to put in a bunch of order information. You'll first put a order number. This can be anything you want, but I'm going to put one because this is our first order. Then you'll input your business's information, followed by your customers. On the right hand side, you'll input the order details. Let's say my customer wants a burger and a soda. I'll put that here and then keep moving down. If you have any tax, delivery fee, or tips you need to add, you'll put them in here. And then you'll fill out a delivery instruction if you have any. This would be something like leaving the package outside the door or anything else the customer has specified. Finally, you'll put the payment method, card or cash. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you're finished, you'll click save and there you go. You've created your first order. You can make this process easier by using our online order forms. I'm not going to go over this right now, but we do have a separate video about it that you can watch. Simply, you can send your customer an order form through a link and they can fill it out on their end and then it'll automatically show up in your dashboard. Next, I'll introduce the map tab. This is where you will see all of your in-progress orders and drivers. As you can see, we have the order we just made on the map. The little orange bubble is my business, and the red one is the customer. Everything is color-coded and easy to distinguish from each other. And if you click on any of these bubbles, it will pop up with some information. Mainly the address, and the customer will also have an area for driver information. As you can see, there is no driver currently assigned to the order. Let's change that. To dispatch an order to a driver, we first need to make sure that our drivers have downloaded the driver app and logged on. Since you probably don't have any drivers online yet, we can dispatch an order to ourselves to practice. Go on over to the dispatch tab and you'll see under new orders, the order we had created. Assigning a driver is easy. All you have to do is click the assign button and click on whoever you want to give it to. This will send it to the driver app where your driver can accept or decline the order. Now let's move to the driver app so we can see this process. Once you are logged in and online, you will see that order that I just sent from my computer. It'll be in the waiting orders tab. This is where all incoming orders are that are waiting to be accepted. If we accept this order, it will move to our current order screen. Here, we are able to mark our progress as we pick up and drop off our deliveries. You can also click on the order at any time to see the order details, including the customer's address, what they ordered, and the total. 
This app is very user friendly and easy to maneuver. Once you play around with it a couple of times, it should be pretty simple to use. I know it can look intimidating at first, but with all things, once you use it enough, you'll become familiar with it. The driver app also allows you to call the business or customer if needed and navigate to each location using Apple Maps, Google Maps, or any other navigation app. In the top right corner, you can open up the map where you can see your business's location as well as the customer's. It works the same way as on your computer. You can click on the bubbles and the order information will pop up. What's really cool is when you start making progress on the order, your customer will receive a text message with their own tracking link so that they can see where their order is in real time. This happens with every order, allowing the customer to have a part in the process. We have more videos about the driver app if you want a more in-depth explanation of the settings and everything that comes with it. But for now, we are going to head back to the dashboard so we can see what has updated. Back on the dashboard, we can see the updated progress of our order. It has changed from picked up to on the way, as we saw in the driver app. All of our software connects seamlessly to give your business an easy and trusting system to use. I would like to show you how to use one more app that should be helpful when you are on the go and not next to a computer. It's our ship day dispatch app, and it's pretty much identical to the dashboard you see on your laptop. However, we've managed to squeeze it into your iPhone or Android screen. It's easy and free to download as well. Here we are. I want to introduce our ship day dispatch app. Like I said, it is exactly what you see on your computer, but on your phone. So you can easily create drivers and dispatch orders on the go. You'll log in with the same email and password you use for your online ship day dashboard, and it'll bring you straight to the order screen. We have three different tabs on the main screen, orders, the map, and drivers. It's very similar to what I showed you on the computer. Here we can see that same order that we've been practicing with. I'd love to show you how to create an order from this app. It's super simple. Just go to the plus sign on the top right. It will give you the same information to fill out, an order number, your business's info, your customer's info, and the order total. If you want to add those extra order details, like what the customer actually ordered, you can click add details and another box will pop up for you to fill out. Once you finish filling in all of the information, click confirm order. And just like that, you've created another order. This new order can be seen on the map, just like your first one. You can also add drivers from this app by going to the driver tab and clicking the plus sign in the top right corner. Just fill in the required information and bang, you have another driver. If we go back to the order screen, we can easily dispatch our new order to a driver. If you click the person icon on the right of your order, your drivers will pop up and you can just click on the one you want to assign. It's very easy and helpful when you can't be in front of a computer all day to be able to do this from your phone. Now that you know how to create orders and drivers, how to see them on the map, and how to dispatch these orders to drivers, you should be all set on starting with your ShipDay account. If you have any more specific questions, please don't hesitate to contact our team. I do recommend going through our video list to learn even more about ShipDay and answer any more of your questions.